Well, a week of beating the hell out of the markets over. Maybe I might post some photos of that. What I'm going to do now is I want to get these pistons in here. There's a the measurements. I took the pin diameter or yeah, pin diameter, rod di diameter, and now I'm measuring the piston um, diameters on these. These are aftermarket pistons. Let me find the uh, pistons that came out of this. The pistons that came out of this were cast iron, and they used to have a bolt that held in the pin, and they had four rings. Um, these were supposedly out of round, so that wonderful machine shop that I asked to uh, um, put sleeves in, didn't put sleeves in, they bored it over and ordered aluminum pistons. Um, these pistons are made by Diamond. Um, I've measured every one of them, and the quality of these pistons are spectacular. Um, every one of them is dead nuts. When I say dead nuts, I mean down to a half thousandths dead nuts. Um, so what I'm going to be doing now is got my telescoping gauge coming in here. I've already got it set so I can feel that it's tight. And then doing my measurements here. And then I will record those into my book over there. So far, everything's coming in between a half thou and a thou clearance, which is perfect. You can see they have um, holes that come up. I'm not too sure if that's the splash path up or that's allowing the fluid to drain down and out. You can see where the fluid can get in here and get in. So I imagine it's just a way to actually cool the piston too. Okay, I'm not going to bore you with me measuring all these, so here we go. Well, I was trying to do a little shortcut by using the calipers over there, and my numbers were all over the place, so I got out the good old mic. Basically, I'm coming in at a thou and a half clearance on all of them, and once again, those diamond pistons are dead nuts. So now I can get to put these together. Okay, I called diamond. They said the pins are not offset, so the pistons are not directional, but there is a serial number on each one of these. I'm going to have that to the forward of the engine just because. I labeled all these when I took them apart. Uh, these are not pressurized. They have a dipper, which means this rod's doing this, and it needs to scoop that oil up. So I have to have it facing this way. If I have it facing that way, the rod's not going to get any oil, uh, oil on the pin. So with that being said, uh, let me get this pistons onto these things, and we can start popping them in. Oh, yeah, I actually have a book. You can get that uh, go to the NASCAR Club, and there'll be a link on the uh, nasparts.com, uh, I think is the number. I think he has a few of these books left. Well, since Diamond primarily makes racing pistons. They sent a double spiral lock pin clip. I have built hundreds of engines before. Never had to deal with this. This is my first attempt at putting one of these in. I'm going to do it the way I think it should be done. Not sure if this is the right way or not, but the first thing I'm going to do is try to get the one part in the groove. Oh, there we go. So I don't know if you can see that or not, but I got the one part in the groove. And I am just going to try to walk this around. This is going to be a pain. I already know it. 
Oh, not so bad. Okay. Uh, the key is to let it expand. Of course, I'm putting the first one in without the pin. Because the pin doesn't need to be there. Well, this isn't as bad as I thought it would be. I'm assuming I should hear a click when it finally goes in. Yep, I heard a click. I'm making sure that that clip is secure and deep in that groove all the way around. It is. So, now with that being done, Got some 50 weight. Don't get real crazy with it. Put in here. Look, it even went all the way. It shot right through. Got both holes with one shot shot. That's impressive. Well, the rod. A little in here too. Nothing too crazy. Is that rod's got that slot on it, and I can lube that up after I get the pin in. So there's forward engine there, forward engine here. Okay, there we go. That's perfect. Now, let me get boy, that pin, all that, all that. I see what's going on. We got some slipping and sliding there. So, let's do what I did last time. Get the hook on the inside. Now, if this had been a regular clip, C clip, I would have the opening and opposing that oil hole right there. Come on, let's get in here. Ah, this one's being a pain in the butt. Once again, I think the key is the once you get the first one in, lift this apart. Oh, God. It's going to be like that, I guess. I think the problem was is I didn't have that in there. Mm. Okay, we're going to see. We're seeing how this is going to go. This isn't going to be a fast and easy pin install. Come on, come on. There it goes. Halfway through. Maybe by the time I get to the sixth piston, I'll be a professional at this, huh? Come on, get in there. I'm going to switch over to a screwdriver. Listen for the click. There's the click. Okay. That is together. Six more to go.